We are the Warriors. Warriors. That's right. So, so who was your favorite teacher in high school? Ah, uh, probably Mr. Hogue. Mrs. Hoyle. Mrs. Hoyle. Mrs. Hoyle. English. Journalism. Yes. Still my favorite. Good. Does she have? Did she have an effect on your life? Actually, Mr. Schultz. Didn't he who? teach Schultz? He taught. I don't remember him. Because we were in the same classes. Um. Yeah, she had an effect on my life. She. Uh, she was cool, and I modeled myself after her. Yes. Yeah. It's good to be cool, isn't it? It is. Yes. It really is. So what would you like to say to people who could not, for one reason or another, attend tonight's event? Big mistake. This is a great turnout. Big, this is the, big mistake. Well, this is a, yeah, big mistake. Big this is a mistake. lot of fun. We have a great turnout. Um, and, you know, but there's, there's five years from now, so we're going to expect about 300 people next time. For number 40. That's right. Okay. Planning has begun. Absolutely. You having a good time? We're having a great time. Let's great continue. Time. All right, thanks. Woo! Okay, thank you. Are you having a good time? I sure am. Good. I'm having a great time. That's awesome. So, I do have a question. Really? Well, I've known you since, like, Boxman School, right? Well, I think we went to kindergarten together. Were you in Mrs. Willie's class so with me? Here's no, a question. And the question is, do you remember, like, who were some of your favorite teachers at Western, or if you had a favorite teacher at Western? Uh, Mr. Gibson. And why? <laughs> um, because probably for our exam we had to, I think, draw a picture of our classroom. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. good for you. So now here's a question. What would you like to say to people who did not or could not, for one reason or another, attend tonight's event? Oh, I miss them. There's so many people that we've all mentioned. Um, Michelle, Chosie, um, oh gosh, I can't remember right now, but you know a few okay. that we're thinking of. Sure, that's okay. Yeah, I wish they would have came. We're all talking about all the people that we wish we would have came. That's nice. So we're going to make sure they come to the 40th, right? Hope so, yeah. yeah. Say definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. With Chris's help. Pardon? With Chris's help. With Chris's help, they'll come to the 40th. Yeah. And with your help, too. Thank you. Okay. You're okay. Have a good time. Thanks. You, too. <laughs> okay. Well, so anyway, we've made it this far. And here we are at the 35th anniversary of the Western Warriors. Yes, sir. And we're having a good time. Having a good time. And so I have some questions for you. Okay. Shane first. Tell me about one of your favorite teachers at Western. Oh, that'd be Whip. Mr. Whip. Clarence mm -hmm. Whip. No hesitation. And why? Because <laughs> awesome. I mean, he knew his stuff. He taught you. He wanted to be a better person and be all you could be. I mean, he was just a great man. Super. That's awesome. Does he? Do you feel his influence in your life to this day? Always. Always. Yeah. That's beautiful. My dear? Yes, I'm actually a John Glenn Bobcat because okay. I only went there until, you know, third grade. But I had a favorite teacher, Mr. Sturm. He was a math teacher. And does he, do you feel that he affected your life in some way, even to this day? Absolutely, because he let me be who I was, but yet still motivated me to do more. <laughs> there you go. Glenn, come on over here and tell yeah. us about your favorite teacher or teachers at Western. I think the most interesting one was Mr. Han. Mr. Han, remember him? Yeah, the physics teacher. Physics teacher, yeah, he was, because you, you, we could always get him talking about something that had nothing to do with the lesson plan that we were doing, and it waste the whole class. That's great. So was he entertaining for you? Did he enter entertaining? Yeah, very entertaining. And what was the what was the one teacher that always would uh, wear the cape? The English teacher wasn't was she an English teacher? Remember her? She wore the cape all the time. Mrs. Erdman. God, I can't remember what her name was, but she'd always sit under her desk. No, I never had her then. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I think that yeah. was Mrs. Erdman. Yeah. <laughs> so. Maybe it was. Yeah, because they just. And then. Uh, the one history teacher that used to take his shoes off and pass them around because they were made out of good leather. <laughs> oh, so so it was entertainment. It was that uh, yes, that's great. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now here's a question: What would you like to say to those people who did not or could not, for one reason or another, attend tonight's event? 
life's all about priorities, you know? And if you learn anything, you learn that prioritize things, and if it's important to you, you'll make it happen. So, Thank you. Good time, a lot of good people here. Yeah, Enjoyed for sure. It. Make new friends, but keep the old. So, still keep your ties. Definitely. Glenn? I couldn't hear what you said. So we hope they make it to the 40th. Yes, yeah. yeah, so that'd be great. That's great. Okay, we're gonna party on, right? Party on. Okay, you guys, I love you. Thanks, Chris. Okay. Hey, Rich Fletcher. Very good to see you. You're here. <laughs> yes. 35 years. 35 years. I know. You know, <clears throat> it seems like only about 32 years ago. Yeah, I agree. Like... <laughs> so I have a question for you. Yes. Um, tell me about one or one or more of your favorite teachers at Western. Oh, you know what? One of my favorite teachers was Ben Gibson for history because I don't know. He just made history fun for a change, you know. He, uh, when he wasn't teaching history to the class, he would get up on the chair and do Elvis impersonations. Anybody from Western that significantly influenced your life? No, um, probably my counselor Dick Mosier probably helped me out a lot with uh, figuring out what I was going to do, and and of course that all changed. Uh, we, you know, a couple of years out of high school, it all changed. Uh, uh, I wanted to go into science, and I ended up becoming a chef for 18 years. Have you seen my whoppers? No, but if I could control that camera, we could all see your whopper, David. Your your whoppers. So I do have another question for you. <laughs> the question is, yes. what would you like to say to those people who did not, for one reason or another, come to tonight's event? We miss you dearly. <laughs> No, really, it would be great to. See, it would have been great to see everybody. Um, I'm having trouble enough just remembering the most some of the people that are here. But you know what? The longer you're here, the more familiar people are. And I'm recognizing people now that I didn't even that I couldn't figure out who they were. You know, an hour and a half ago. So that's cool. You know, you look them at you look at them in the eyes. Now, Chris, I recognize you as soon as I walked in because. Well, you know, some of us just haven't changed at all. Okay. <laughs> right, of course, yes. Uh, some of us haven't, have we? Well, no. In 32 like, years. Like Dave. You know, I know, Dave he looks, hasn't the, changed at all. looks the same. No. Okay, cool. Yeah. Part, party on, Garth. All right. <laughs> party on, Wayne. Thank you. That's good. Yes, you're in the right place. Are you having a good time? I am having a good time. That's right. 35 years, right? Right. That's right. Western Warriors, right? Right. 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 Good. So, tell me about a favorite teacher or two that you had at Western and how they influenced your life. Okay. Um, Carol Rexer, I think it was her name. She, I really enjoyed her. I had it for like a speed reading class, really random class, but she was just really nice. Um, and, you know, I was relatively new at Western my sophomore year and so any teacher that was like gave me a little extra attention I appreciated. Well, she was she was nice that way. That's nice. Yeah. So what would you like to say to an individual or any of the people who could not come for one reason or another to, to tonight's event? Um, I would just say if you didn't come think about coming next time. You know everybody's having a great time and we would like to see you. We certainly are having a good time yeah. thanks to you and the other members. Amy Profiter. Uh, uh, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Lindsay McIntyre Learman. Yep. Is that right? That's right. Good. Where do you live now? In Linwood. Well, that's Lindsay great. Lindsay Learman from Linwood. Lindsay Learman from Linwood. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Yeah, it is fun. Lots of fun. Lots that's, of faces I haven't seen in a long time. That's nice. It's very nice. So, <laughs> so here's a question for you. Who, who were some of your favorite teachers at Western, and how did they influence your life? Is like they're a particular person you'd like to say something about? Well, there is. I'm not sure he's my favorite, but it was uh, Mr. Drummond. Um, I found him difficult, hard, exasperating, and maddening, but guess what? I ended up being a science major with a master's in science. So, oh, my goodness. Yep. So I guess he did it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Thank you. So now... Um, what would you like to say to people who were, for one way, one reason or another, unable to attend tonight's event? Well, it's too bad that they were unable to make it. We're having great time. 
you'd be surprised at what wonderful things our classmates are still doing. And uh, actually, they all look great, and they all seem very happy. That's nice. Including you. Well, thank you. And we want them all to come to the 40th, don't we? Come to the 40th, for Absolutely. sure. So here we are. We're at the 35th reunion of the Western Warriors. Yeah. That's right. Are you are you all having a good time? Awesome. Good. That's right. So we're going to start right here. Tell me about your favorite teacher or teachers, and how did they affect your life? Um, was it Mrs. Post? What wasn't she? Math teacher, and, and I've, I've loved math ever since. That's awesome. Uh, Coach Ralph. Coach Ralph. Yep. And how did he affect your life? Because um, Bruce was with us, and <laughs> he was just a great role model. And oh, yeah. It was great to play with. You like? Thank you. Carmen? I love. I loved Mr. Han. He was awesome. I, I Physics teacher. Mr. <laughs> Scroll. There's another one for Mr. Han. Uh, Mr. Whip. Because yeah. oh, yeah. he hated me. <laughs> yeah. I hated him bad. Coach Whip was great, but uh, Coach Rudderbush was even better. Yeah, Rudy. Oh, it's Rudy Bush. One for Rudy. Everybody loved that guy. Rudy. Okay, so what would you like to say to the people who are unable to come to tonight's event? Let's get the cost down a little bit next time, and uh, maybe we can have more people here. Definitely. <laughs> I, I missed everybody. <laughs> Come out! It's a lot of fun. You you make yourself youthful all over again. Thank you. They missed a good time and they did a good job setting it up and everything. Absolutely. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. So we have Bruce, Bruce Reader, Tim Sugar, Carmen Castillo. It's funny. Slick Arnold. Slick Arnold. When you're Mike Baldwin. You're funny. What's that, buddy? Okay, guys, party on. Party on, guys. Party on, guys.